Hello, hello, hello. My name is Timothy Robert Smith. Welcome to the municipal building of Wilmington, where I've painted a mural called Apparatus. Angeles uh, depicted from kind of a unique perspective where the ground is shifting and we have like a lot of shipping containers that are depicted here. There's some public parks. There's a train, a lot of different elements that you see in the city. If you look on the right side of the mural, uh, you'll see an image of the city and that's kind of going up into the sky and there's a lot of actual buildings that I uh, painted. Or I painted like a representation of those buildings like the St. Uh, Peter and Paul Church, uh, the Banning Museum, the Drum Barracks, the Don Hotel and others, as well as the municipal building uh, which is the one that the mural is painted on. So if you look at the painting of the municipal building, there is a smaller painting of the mural hidden within the mural. I also put a skateboarder in the mural. We're on the, the right side. So the train was important because I see trains here. Um, every time I drive to Wilmington, there's lots of tracks, there's lots of trains. So I figured I gotta put one in the mural. There's something really fun about the movement of like all that metal. And there's a lot of motion trails kind of hidden throughout this piece mostly in that in that train though but also in cars like there's this one um, over on this side there's kind of this abstract like blur but you could kind of tell that it's a semi truck those motion trails I feel like it kind of engages with the viewers sense of motion so even though you're looking at one shot that doesn't change it gives it more of a of a cinematic feel, like you're watching a movie that's like moving. The containers, uh, the shipping containers that I painted, like these definitely show changes within the harbor. There wasn't always shipping containers here. Like uh, back in the day, things were all carried by hand from the port. So that is, it's kind of a time capsule of, of where we are now. And then also on the right side of the mural, there is, there's a conveyor belt and there's a female character, uh, which is which is really uh, cool too, because back in the day, it was only uh, males that were working in, in these jobs so I wanted to paint a female character. All right now let me talk about Salvador Laura. Uh, so I was looking for the face of Wilmington and I talked to a lot of residents here and everyone said the same name which is Salvador Laura also known as Mr. Wilmington. He took it upon himself to just start cleaning the neighborhood and I think at one point he was like the honorary mayor of Wilmington and just a really cool guy and when I when I met him uh, like we hit it off really well and I got some amazing photos and while I was painting he was coming down a lot and like watching me paint him and you know I mean he was he was working too he was like cleaning and, and doing things while I was working and but uh, it was really cool to connect with someone who was so powerful of a figure in Wilmington and I feel like that was a later addition to the design and when I added him it made the whole piece like connect. So this mural is very special to me. One reason is because of the size of it. It's a very massive project which I had a lot of fun doing. I also had a lot of really cool helpers that came. Some former students, former classmates, some friends. But I had like a big crew here and we were all working. I'm also really honored to uh, have been given this opportunity to paint a municipal building and to um, you know meet Salvador Laura and like all the people of Wilmington. As I was painting, so many people came up and were talking to me, and um, it was a really great experience. And um, you know, I'm always gonna re remember the time painting this mural.